Hi everyone, this is Patrick Meninga here with SpiritualRiver.com, Transformations Treatment Center. I want to talk today a little bit about highly effective strategies that you might use for beating alcoholism and drug addiction. These are some of the strategies that have worked for me in the past and I think you might get a lot out of them. The first one is something I call the zero tolerance policy. This is something you do mentally in your head and you basically tell yourself I'm not going to tolerate any thoughts of drinking or romanticizing drug use as soon as you notice it you have to shut it down immediately and in order to do that you have to increase your awareness quite a bit you have to sort of make an agreement with yourself that you're not gonna you're not gonna let your mind go there and that's uh, that's something you have to practice that's something that you get better at over time Another strategy that worked for me was disruption. The idea was I had to go to treatment in order to disrupt my patterns of drinking and drug use. And in order to do that, I had to sort of put myself out there. I had to check into treatment. And that was scary. It uh, had to take a risk to do that. Another strategy is massive action. I It doesn't work to just sort of try a little bit to overcome your addiction. At one point I went to counseling and I was seeing a therapist maybe like one hour a week. That's not massive action. That doesn't help anybody overcome addiction. It's not enough. So I had to do more than that and eventually that meant going to inpatient rehab and actually checking in and staying for 28 days at a treatment center. Um, another strategy is replacing your addiction with positive habits. This is something that I had to learn how to do in long-term recovery and it's one of the reasons I started exercising on a regular basis. There's a lot of other strategies. A lot of people go to AA meetings. Uh, you can hang out with people in recovery, go get coffee with them. Just different activities that take the place of drinking and drug use and that's going to be important for anyone who's trying to build a new life. And finally, I would suggest that everybody who gets clean and sober has to learn how to be grateful. And that's part of the spiritual shift of changing your attitude and learning how to be more grateful rather than being selfish in recovery. So if you've got strategies that have worked for you in recovery, uh, be sure to check out the forum here at Spiritual River and tell us what those strategies are. Once again, this is Patrick Meninga with SpiritualRiver.com, Transformations Treatment Center. Thank you.